Today we're going to be taking the derivatives of x to the x and x to the x to the x, okay? Just as a review, uh, x to the x can be rewritten as the second titration of x, and this can be rewritten as the third titration of x. Uh, we're not going to need them because that's not going to help us, but if it's ever written like that, like I probably will in future videos, I'll be writing like the fifth titration of x, just like that, just like a dbx like that. Um, that's basically what it means, okay? And so, um, that's just a little recap of the last video. But basically, we're going to take the derivative of these using what we went over last time. So, if we set y equal to x to the x, we can take the natural log of both sides. So, let me just put a natural log there, natural log there, okay? And so we end up with ln y is equal to x ln x. Basically, a natural log of x to the x, we can move the x to the front, and we end up with that. This is pretty easy. This is just what we did last time, 1 over y. Uh, I'm going to do y prime, OK? And that's equal to x times the derivative of the natural log, which is 1 over x, plus natural log times derivative of x is 1 isolate y prime, and then we multiply by y, so then we, x times 1 over x is just 1, plus this is just ln x, and we know that y is equal to x to the x, so we can actually just rewrite this as x to the x. So all we do is just say y prime is equal to x to the x times 1 plus ln x. And this is the standard form that the derivative of x to the x is written in. Usually you don't distribute, um, you can if you want, but there's no reason to. It kind of just messes things up a little bit, but I think that looks, that looks good. All right, so let's do the third titration. That wasn't that bad. Uh, this is gonna be not so bad, but definitely better than what we're gonna do in the future. So again, we're gonna set y equal to x to the x to the x. We're going to take the natural log of both sides. Okay, and so now we end up with ln y is equal to x to the x times ln x. Okay, well we still have an x in the exponent, which is kind of what we're trying to avoid. So what if we take the natural log a second time? So let's, let's apply natural log a second time, okay, and see, what, see where we end up with. So we have the natural log of the natural log of y equal to, well, the natural log of a product is just adding the two natural logs. So basically we take ln of x to the x plus ln of ln x. And so this becomes x ln x, so we can rewrite this as ln of ln y is equal to x ln x plus ln of ln x. And this looks kind of messy. We have a lot of natural logs going on, and we have one inside of another, same thing here, but it's really not bad. This, we already did that. This, it's just the chain rule twice but then we add a y prime here. This is the same thing as that. This is just with a y prime at the end. So it's really not that bad. So let's just do it. So the derivative of both sides. So we take one over our input, which is l and y, okay? But then we have to multiply by the derivative of our input, which itself is l and y. So it's going to be a one over y. And then since we're doing implicit, we have to add a y prime to the end, or multiply y prime at the end. Okay, not so bad actually. Um, that's basically the same thing here, so we'll go through that at the end. But the derivative of x ln x is that, right? So it's not this, it is this, okay? So it's just 1 plus ln x, okay? Because uh, we do x times 1 over x plus ln x times 1, which simplifies to 1 plus ln x. 
don't confuse it with that because that's with the y there. So just 1 plus ln x plus, same thing as we did there. So this is going to be 1 over ln x times, oops, times 1 over x. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we just do uh, 1 over y ln y, y prime is equal to 1 plus ln x plus 1 over x ln x. Okay, a lot of stuff going on here, but we can actually just, uh, just multiply by y ln y, and it actually turns out not so bad. So we get this 1 plus ln x plus 1 over x ln x. So now this answer is correct, but if you if you look on Wolfram Alpha, you'll find that this isn't the same answer that they have. They have x to the x to the x plus x minus 1 times, uh, it's like 1 plus ln x, no, 1 plus x ln x plus x ln squared x. And that's kind of weird. So how did they get that? Well, basically, um, I'm going to do it up here because I don't have enough space. So let me, let me just draw a big red line here. Okay. So basically what they did is they first distributed this ln x. Okay. So we get y prime is equal to x to the x to the x. Then we can do a plus x because of logarithm rules. You can, since these have the same bases, you can add these together. And so then they distributed the ln x. We get ln x plus ln x times ln x can be written as ln squared x, okay? And then ln x times 1 plus, uh, I'm sorry, ln x times 1 over x ln x is these two natural logs are going to cancel, so then we are just left with 1 over x. Okay, so what they wanted to do was multiply each of these terms by an x to get rid of this 1 over x. So if we just come up with a random x and start multiplying it by everything, we have to divide it somewhere. And so we're going to do basically this. So we're going to, um, we're going to multiply by an x, so times x, okay? And then here, we're going to divide by x, okay? And so basically, Dividing by x is going to be a minus 1 here because of logarithm rules because if you have x to the x uh, Divided by x that just turns into x to the x minus 1 because that can be just a x to the negative 1 and so that's how that works basically so It's gonna get rid of that. So basically what they do is they do y prime is equal to x to the x to the x plus x minus 1 times, and then we have to multiply everything by x, so we get x ln x. Actually, let me put the, uh, let me put the 1 first, because I think that's the order they have it in, so let me just, just do so minus 1, and so then we have a 1 plus x ln x plus x ln squared x, and it fits. Just right, basically. So yeah, that's our answer for that. Um, it, it, it's kind of weird. These two answers are acceptable. This one is too, um, but it's just the way it is. So what, whichever you prefer, um, I'm all, I'm, I think I'm always gonna try to get to the Wolfram Alpha result unless I can't, unless I don't find a way, but yeah. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.